Hey everybody, it's Victor Vildris, and if you look at both the title and the thumbnail, you will see that this is the second video I'm making for patch 1.31.3, the patch where Paradox decided to both fix and break subjugation and vassalization. So quick disclaimer, this is not Iron Man. It does work in Iron Man, I tested it myself. It's just easier to show you in non-Iron Man. Now, first, the best place to start is to explain subjugation CBs. Subjugation CBs are incredibly rare in EU4. You usually get claims, then at the very rare instance you get cores, even more rare you'll get a PU mission, and along the same lines of PU missions you get subjugations. England gets one, France gets one, and you might, might get one in the Diet of the Nobility. They're pretty rare. There are others out there, but these are the two main ones. So, before this patch, France would have the, the subjugation CB on Portugal, or not Portugal, Poland, sorry. The problem is, by the time they got this CB, Poland wouldn't be Poland, they'd be, most likely, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, and be significantly too large to use a CB on, because all it did was reduce the cost of vassalizing them. I believe it was an 80% cost, which means after a certain point they were just too large and yeah it was easier just to conquer them which meant that France had a dead CB England has one against Scotland but it's early in their mission tree which means it wasn't dead but the France one was so this patch paradox decided if you have a subjugation CB it gets capped instead of it taking 300 war score it takes a maximum of a hundred and it's capped that way so you can use the CB. So for example, if I went after Aragon without the CB, I would need 308 war score, which you can't get in one war. So you couldn't vassalize them. If you had it though, it would probably be around 80 to 100, which means you can. You just actually have to get that CB, which you won't get. But there are a few people that get them. And Paradox either forgot they existed, like Majapahit, who happens to get this rare CB against the planet, and when they removed this limitation on size, suddenly made it so there's really little to stop them. And they did what it seems like no play testing, which seems to be in a Leviathan trend, with everybody else. So to show you what I'm talking about, I went ahead and gave Scotland some allies. So let's go ahead and use this subjugation CB, which if you notice, no longer gives you a discount. And let's go ahead and let's say Copelligerate Castile. You'll understand why I'm Copelligerating Castile in a little bit. So the last video, Majapahit was able to force vassalize using their CB, which did give a reduction to 80%, which made it 72% of war score to vassalize anybody from all of Europe uh, to Oirats or Ming. So, how much C how much war score do you think it would cost for, say, Scotland, who is substantially smaller, but you don't get a reduction? Well, it's going to be 90%. Here's the problem. You also get 70% aggressive expansion, which means you're taking a lot of aggressive expansion but you also can't take these islands here, which you used to be able to, along with some money. So it costs more now to get Scotland, which is bad, but that also means if Scotland, say, takes over all of Ireland, all of a sudden you're taking 70 aggressive expansion and it caps at 90 war score for you to get all of Scotland and all of Ireland. So possibly a win. But if you remember, I co-belligerated Castile. I don't have any such subjugation CB against Castile. But if you look, it costs 90 war score, 200 diplo, and 89 aggressive expansion, so all of 19 aggressive expansion more to vassalize Castile. Yes, you have to beat them, but okay. And I know a lot of you are going to say, yeah, but you had to co-belligerate him. So let's go ahead and take a look at France instead. Now France will always ally Scotland. They start off guaranteeing them, so even if they don't ally them, you'll get them in anyway. And for them, it is also 90 war score, 200 diplo, and 89 aggressive expansion to fully 
vassalize France. Now, I know some people are going to say, but look, you get, a, you get a coalition. Yes, but in most England games, you'll also be able to ally Austria, possibly ally Castile, and possibly ally Burgundy, which will make your game a lot easier, because if you look at who's in this, France will be taken out, Burgundy would be taken out, and Austria would be taken out. And between those three backing you up, this coalition would never fire. So how about Portugal? Portugal wasn't even allied to Scotland. They just got called in because I co-belligerated Castile. Well, they are the exact same as Castile or France or anybody else. They are 89, war, uh, 89 aggressive expansion, 200 diplo, 90 war score. Because somebody at Paradox decided not to play test because it's Leviathan, which meant that nobody caught that it extends that war goal to all of the allies, co-belligerated or not. And for some reason, it also capped not just the war score, but the aggressive expansion that you'll be taking. Because again, I guess it's Leviathan, so let's go ahead and do this. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, so what? It's Scotland. Who cares? The problem is, is that there's no requirement that you actually vassalize Scotland in this war. You could fight it, take France, which will make it easier for you to keep France, because now you don't have to worry about your king dying, and then simply white peace Scotland. Let your AE tick down, and then to either take Scotland later, using the same one, or take their next allies, or slowly conquer them, instead of bothering to have a vassal of Scotland. And then the only one that way that France will get loyal is either they beat you themselves in a war, or they get enough backup from people that they can win, where if you're allied with most of the major powers, they're not getting away. Making your life significantly easier. And if you're France, you can get that one against Poland, and well, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth is probably going to have some pretty strong allies themselves, giving you quite the advantage to go ahead and vassalize some really large people like Austria-Hungary, who might by that time have integrated Bohemia and Hungary, so suddenly they're your vassal. So, hopefully this helps you make your game a lot easier or a lot memeier. But if you like this kind of content, go ahead and like and subscribe. I will try and make more of it, but otherwise, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day.